Welcome to my tutorial series on object-oriented programming in Python. Today I will discuss some basic concepts of object-oriented programming in Python, which are inheritance, composition, and aggregation. Let's start with inheritance. Inheritance is just code reuse. We all know laziness is not good, but if you want to be a good programmer, you have to be very lazy. Because a lazy programmer always avoids to write new code and reuses old code. This kind of laziness can be achieved with help of inheritance. Suppose I have class human. Now I would like to have another class employee. Because every employee is also human, so employee class have a lot of things common with human class, like first and last names of employees, age, address, etc. So it would be great if I could reuse all possible methods and attributes of human class in my employee class. This is achieved with the help of inheritance. This lets you put all the common functionalities in one class and then specialize these functionalities in other class as needed. Now before going too deep into inheritance, I would like to show you three possible ways to declare a class in Python 3.5. Internally, they are all equal. Every class we create in Python use inheritance and the parent class is known as object class. Even if we don't write object class in the parentheses, inheritance happens implicitly whenever you declare a class. Object class provides double underscore methods which are intended mostly for internal use and also other methods like super, property, etc. So in Python, inheritance begins right away from a very first definition of a class. Now let's see an example. In this example, I have human and employee classes. The employee class inherits from human class. So human class is super class or parent class of employee class and employee class is subclass or child class of human class. In this example, the human class contains two attributes, first name and last name, and three methods, the initializer method, which takes three arguments including self, get name method, which returns first and last name, and test method, which returns hello. The employee class inherits all the attributes and method from human class but it has its own initializer method which takes four arguments including self and get info method which returns first and last name of employee and employee number. In main I have created two objects of both human and employee classes. Because employee class inherits all the properties and methods of human class, it is possible to call get name and test methods of human class on any instance of employee class, even if there are no such methods in employee class. But inheritance doesn't allow a human class to call the methods of its subclasses. Now let's go a bit further. If you look at the initializer method in both person and employee classes, both methods look very similar. As I mentioned earlier, a lazy programmer is the best programmer. So instead of rewriting the code, we could also use the initializer method of human class in the employee class. There are three different ways of calling superclass methods in child class. It is recommended to use built-in function super to call parent class methods in child class. As you can see in this example, I am calling initializer and get name methods of human class in employee class. It is also possible to overwrite methods of parent class in subclass, as I have done with test method. So these were very simple examples of inheritance in Python. Now let's move to composition and aggregation. Composition and aggregations are specialized form of isolation. Whereas association is a basic relationship between two classes without any rules. Association is very similar to inheritance and both allow programmers to reuse the code. The only difference between inheritance and association is that inheritance extends a class and we can add custom attributes and behavior to the inherited class, while association uses an instance of a class. So when we talk about inheritance, we have so called easy relationship. For example, you can think of an employee which is a human, or you can think of a car which is a vehicle. Whereas when we talk about association, we have has a relationship. A composition relationship is created when one of the classes is composed of one or more instances of other classes. In other words, one of the classes plays the role of a container and other plays the role of a content. And if the container object is deleted, then all of its content objects are deleted as well. For example, you can think of human, which has different body parts. A human can live without some body parts, whereas body parts cannot exist alone. So when a human dies, all body parts dies as well. Whereas aggregation is a weak form of composition. If a container object is deleted, then all of its content object can still exist without container object. For example, you can think of a team, which is a collection of players. But if you dissolve the team, 
players can still exist. So when we talk about aggregation, we can also say it's some kind of user relationship. Let's see an example of composition. In this example, I have class salary, which contains two methods, the initializer method and get total method. The initializer method takes one argument, pay. The get total method returns the annual pay by multiplying the pay argument with an integer value 12. The class employee also contains two methods, the initializer and annual salary method. The initializer method takes two arguments, pay and bonus. Inside my initializer method, I have created an instance of class salary and it takes pay as argument. In annual salary method, I am returning total pay by calling the member function of salary class and I am adding argument bonus into it. Now in main, I have created an instance of class bank and I am calling the annual salary method on that instance. So this was very simple example of composition because if you destroy the object of class employee, it will automatically destroy the object of class salary. Now let's see an example of aggregation. As you can see, there is hardly any difference between both examples, except an instance of class salary can exist independently, even after if you destroy the object of class employer. I hope you have now basic understanding of inheritance, composition, and aggregation. Thank you for watching and please subscribe my channel for future tutorials.